Hey y'all, so we are officially on vacation prep mode. Um, we are leaving today, Sunday. We leave for Tennessee on Thursday night. Um, we're flying actually to Alabama, meeting up with a sister and then driving the rest of the way with her on Friday. Um, we just got home from running some errands. We had to get Morgan an outfit for the wedding. He got a really nice Oxford polo. It's so cute. Um, we have the oven preheating because we're about to make some dinner. It's only 4.30 and we're starving. Um, also, I got my hair done. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I cut my hair. I'm obsessed with it. Um, added some low lights, kind of blended with my current, like the highlights that were already there. I literally couldn't be happier. I'm so pumped about it. I love this cut. It was much needed. So let me show you what we got for the week. I'm going to do a little meal prep as well, which I haven't done in a long time. Um, and I also had to get quite a bit of hair care. So let me show you what I picked up. Okay, so for food, I've been wanting to pick these up. These are the Gorton's Crunchy, <laughs> crunchy Breaded Filets. Um, 220 calories for two filets with 10 grams of protein. So I picked up those just for an easy dinner, um, either before we leave or right when we get back, since probably won't grocery shop right away. Um, I picked up a chopped salad kit for tonight's dinner. We were going to do meatball pita subs. Um, so I did get the Italian style meatballs for those. We're about to throw those in the oven, but they forgot the Joseph's pitas. Luckily, we have some of these non-rounds. So I'm just going to do a big tray of like little pizzas and like cut the meatballs in half and lay them out. And we'll do like pizza style. So I also got some cheese for that. Green beans are for a meal prep that I'm going to make, which is ground turkey and rice. I'm gonna add a red bell pepper and some tomatoes to the ground turkey, and then split the rice into a few meals. Also, I needed to get a straightener because I don't have one, and I really like the way she did my hair. She curled it and then straightened the ends. And I just think it looks really cute with my haircut. So I wanted to grab a straightener. This was like 20 bucks. Um, this was supposed to be the travel size. Um, I wanted like a tinier container, but they didn't have it. And uh, the substitution was the full size one for the same price. So I got this like more than half off. So I went with that. Same with the hairspray. This was supposed to be the travel size. It's like the only brand they sell in the travel size at Walmart. And I guess they were out of that too. So I took this one. It was like $2.50. Um, I got two of the conditioners that Morgan likes. We're going to put one in our shower here. And we're going to take this along with the shampoo. Um, that's what we're going to take on the trip with us. Also just a little thing of body wash to take with us. And then some shampoo for home. I've seen this on TikTok. A lot of cosmetologists talk about it. So I wanted to give it a try. The Heritage brand. So I got this gentle daily shampoo. You can see it's free of a lot of stuff. Vegan, cruelty free. And then I also got the deep moisture conditioner. I've heard good things. And these are like eight nine dollars a bottle so very affordable i feel like and then i also picked up the protein treatment they have a couple um different things i want to try too but we're going to start with that um and i guess that's it really so this might be a vlog that's a couple days long but i'm going to show y'all what we're packing when we get there i've also ordered so many things on amazon that are coming they should all be here by tuesday so I'll keep you updated. There will be an Amazon haul, a big one in this video. So stay tuned for that. But we're going to whip up some dinner and I'll show you when everything's ready. Y'all, we got crumble. Yesterday, we already ate. This one was the pink donut. I think that's like one of me and Morgan's top favorites. This over here was a lemon. Honestly, I like lemon things, but the crumble lemon just doesn't do it for me. Morgan loves it, right? Yeah, it was pretty good. He likes the lemon. This one is s'mores. Oh my gosh. Honestly, one of my like top three, I think, from crumble ever. And then also the cookie dough was so good. Okay, I would say s'mores is like top five. The, uh, cookie dough top three. The pink donut one was probably one of the best ones I've had from there. Yeah, Morgan says pink donut, one of the best ones he's had. The icing on this cookie dough one right here is really good. It's a lot lighter than the icing that they put on the cheesecake cookies. 
and I'm a huge fan. But yeah, we're, we've been eating on these for a couple of days and they might be gone by tonight. Also, I got this um, lemonade at Target, the raspberry one, and it is so good. It's super lemony. I'm obsessed, I'm already on my second cup today. Looks so good. All right, y'all, finished product. I added some of the Trader Joe's, so Frito seasoning to the top. I might dip it in a little Bolt House Farms Ranch. And then I was gonna put my salad on the plate, but it's just too big, so I'm gonna eat this just out of the Tupperware. All right, y'all, so here is two. Oh my gosh, these green beans are so good. Oh my gosh. I will have to be making these all the time. I was honestly surprised. I was a little bit worried these weren't gonna be all that good there. Delicious. Highly recommend that recipe. The mullet is no more. The mullet is no more. Okay, y'all. So this is the Amazon shirt. I think I've shown this one to y'all. Link it for you down below. Honestly, one of the better Amazon tops I've ever gotten. You can pull it down if you want it to be longer. You could probably wear it up on your sleeves, but honestly, that's not as comfortable. Um, but what I just got in the mail are these shorts. Um, I don't know what size I ordered. They're like slightly, like I think I could probably go a size down. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to keep these for the trip. What do you guys think? I feel like they're a good length. They're not like I'm trying to be 14 and some shorty shorts, but I'm also not trying to be like, you know, too long. Um, but there's kind of a lot of fabric in the front. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do we love this? I mean, I'll be on vacation already. So I guess let me know in the comments if I should wear this. This is going up the day that we leave. So let me know. But I also have denim I could wear this with. I just don't like the color. I'm unsure. Maybe it's just the combo of these two. But I do like the shorts. Like, I feel like these are cute. And with the right top. And for Amazon shorts, like, these are nice and stretchy. They look like actual denim, you know. They're obviously, you can see a see-through between where the lining is. But I'm pretty impressed, honestly. So that's the first thing I got. Okay, I also got another pair of the Lulu dupe shorts. These ones are in white. Honestly, I feel like these are a little bit of a different material. They feel different. I don't know. So I'm going to try them on and see if I like them as much as I like the pairs that I have in the other colors. But they look identical. Maybe they just feel a little rough because I've worn my other ones. We'll have to see how they look on. I did an XL in these, but honestly, I think I could wear a large. I just like them a little bit looser on my legs. So I would say these do run true to size. They're a Lululemon dupe. I also got this um, steamer because mine broke and we needed one to take with us so that we look nice for the wedding and for dinner and stuff. So I just got this little one that had really good reviews. I think it was $29.99. Um, obviously I can't review it for you, but it had like, I don't know, 20,000 reviews or something. So there's that. I also got, I haven't opened the last box, but I got the, um, Bondi Sands or Bondi Sands, whatever, um, instant tanner, like the one hour one. And so I also got their mitt. It was like $5 and I need a new mitt. So I got that, um, to take on vacation in case I have like an uneven tan. Honestly, I might use it for the actual vacation and then just reapply while I'm there instead of the Coco and Eve one. Okay, we got lots of goods in this box. So here is the self tanner. It's the self tanning foam one hour express. I saw people talk about it on TikTok saying that it doesn't transfer onto clothes. Um, so I wanna give that a try. Also, we got a couple of chargers that had good reviews on Amazon for our phones that we can take traveling. Um, me and Morgan always need, oh, there's something missing. Okay, so this shirt I got for work. Let me just try both of these shirts on for you. They're for work, but I was supposed to get a bandana top and I don't see that anywhere. Okay, <laughs> this is a lot shinier. I knew it was shiny, so I don't know why I'm surprised. Um, it's a little shinier than I had anticipated. Um, I did get this for work. I would probably wear it like this, half tucked. It needs to be steamed, obviously. Um, so you can see, like, look at that shimmer. <laughs> okay, this may be like a going out top. I like it though, I don't know. I also think it would be cute unbuttoned with something underneath, like just a neutral, um, like a little bodysuit or something would be cute with this on top. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna have to play around with this one. But the fit is cute, they had a lot of colors. Um, like you can see right here, it needs to be steamed very bad. So it's kind of hard to get the full effect, but like, I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like it's fun. 
my only complaint is that, um, and it, it's pretty nice and thin, but it's not see-through, I don't think. And I'm wearing a nude bra, but I don't think it's see-through. My only complaint is that the buttons feel really nice, but they look kind of cheap. Do y'all see what I'm saying? Like, they're just, like, white. I wish they were, like, an iridescent or something, or, like, that matches a little bit more. I don't know. I'll have to play around with this one a little more, and we'll see. But the fit is super cute. I couldn't be happier with that. I think I will for sure order this in more colors, especially come the fall. Um, I will say the collar also is very rigid. Um but I think that that's fine. That's, I mean, you know, it's a collared shirt. So nice and long in the back. If you wanted to wear it, um, you know, untucked or all the way tucked in with some dress pants could be cute. I don't know. Also, it looks really cute with white. White pants look terrible on me usually though. So I don't know that I would have work white pants, but I feel like once this is steamed, this is going to be, this is going to be really cute. Okay, I've got updates. I put this shirt on with some work jeans because I wanted to see if it looked better. I was like, oh yeah, it'll probably look really good with work jeans. I think it's too long. I feel like, I mean, it's covering the entire, I mean, it goes to my like thighs, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep it, put it back in the bag, order a size down. This is a large, so I'm gonna order the medium and we'll see how that looks. This is um, $27.99 and I honestly do like the quality. I think it's nice. Um, it feels like something you'd get at a boutique, not gonna lie. So happy with that. So I think I'm gonna order this in a medium. I'm also going to order the shorts in a large because I ordered the XL in those. And I feel like if they were just a little more fitted, I would like them better. I think they're just a little too baggy. And if they're baggy when I first try them on and they're a stretchy pair, they're just going to stretch out more as I wear them, you know? So like as I wear them throughout the day. So I think I'm going to reorder some sizes and we'll check in tomorrow. Also, I have one more top coming that I'm, gosh, I hope it's cute because I'm so excited about it. Um, but it says it should be here before 10 PM. So I'll keep you guys posted. Okay. Last update. These white shorts are definitely a different material. They're like a little thicker and a little stiffer. Um, I think they look cute. And I really got the white color because I was going to wear them um, when we go whitewater rafting because I have like a cute swimsuit that would go with it for like under the life vest, obviously. Um, but I don't know. They look better on camera. Okay, look, see, there's the problem right there. You can see the liner and I don't love that. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to send the white back and get a different color. Dang, it's not a great Amazon day. Okay, home from work. It's... Uh, Tuesday. I keep thinking it's Wednesday. It's Tuesday. This bandana top came in and it is so cute and it's like a really good, it's like really good quality. I'm impressed. So it's a tie back. I need to tie it, you know, better, but it's a tie back. It's super cute. I'm a big fan. So I'd probably wear like sticky boobs or something with this, but yeah, I like it. Also, I got these shorts in a large instead of the XL, and I much prefer the fit of these. They're um, still stretchy, they don't feel super tight, but I just like the fit better. I think they're a little more flattering than the like super loose ones were. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try on that other top with these, but I think that these are both keepers, and I wanna say this top was like, I don't know, under 20 bucks, I'm pretty sure. I need to figure out how to like, Maybe some fashion tape to like hold these parts back. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm obsessed with this. I think it is so pretty. And it's like feels so soft and silky. Okay, y'all. It's Thursday. All we're doing is showing Amazon packages. These are actually from American Eagle. These just came in. So I, um, they're on sale. I'll try to link them for you. I can't remember exactly what they're called. I want to say they're called like the mom short or something. Um, what do we think of these? They're a little, um, I like the length in the back. I feel like this looks super cute. I don't always love length in the front because I feel like it makes my legs look like, I don't know, weird. Um, but I kind of liked them rolled in the front. Like that's pretty cute, right? I don't know. Let me know what you think of these. I'm pretty sure I can't return them because they were $37, but they're very comfortable. They're very stretchy. These are in a size 14. Um, I feel like I could have done a 12. Um, so you can see there's some room back here, but I just followed the like size guide. I don't know, but I like them. They're super comfy. I feel like these would be nice to just throw on and go 
um, especially for like vacation, beach days, whatever. So let me know what you think of these. Do we like the length? Do we like them better all the way down? I don't know. They're very comfy though, so pretty good purchase. I'm happy with them. I'm gonna take them on vacation for sure. Okay, this shirt I had ordered earlier in the week. It was a large, it was weirdly long though. Um, so I returned it and got a medium. Um, I mean, I hate these together. I would wear this with like work pants, jeans. Um, I think I like it. I think I like it. I might try it on with some jeans um, tomorrow and see how I feel about it. Or later, I'm kind of tired, honestly. <laughs> I'm on vacation. I'm not going to work tomorrow. Also, I got my nails done, but I'm about to have a glass of wine. But this is the shirt. Really good quality. I'm, I'm just unsure if I feel like it's very unflattering. I don't know. I feel like this combo is very unflattering. Terrible, terrible. Um, but overall, the shirt itself is, is very cute. I just am unsure if I like it on me to try it on with some work stuff and see. So I will link this one for you. It is from Amazon. I also got another pair of the like Lulu dupe shorts that I'm obsessed with. I ordered them in white and they were see-through. I think I showed you all that. Um, so I went ahead and got this like gray color. So I'm gonna try those on next. And I'm pretty sure these are packing cubes. Okay, is this a weird angle? So here's the gray shorts. So freaking cute. I actually love this color and these feel like the normal ones. They're very soft, super soft. The white was like a different material. I don't know, but these are so cute. Love the gray. So definitely keeping those. I already have these in like a purple color and black and I'm just gonna keep adding to the collection. I'm taking all three with me on vacation for like traveling, excursions. Oops, she messed up the Amazon bag. Um, Oh, I'm not showing you my address. Um, okay, so these are the packing cubes. Never used packing cubes before, but I wanted to for this trip because we're sharing a suitcase to try to like condense. And I feel like this will help us keep our things organized. So we know like, especially like our water or like our outfits for the rafting we need like shoes and a swimsuit and all the things so i just feel like this will help so i got this whole set so this is the first one um and it has these little straps this is the large size and then this part is mesh um it has a little handle right here but yeah you just like pack your clothes inside so there's that size um, and then it comes in this size which i thought was a lot bigger for laundry i thought it was like a laundry size um, but that'll be good for like our swim stuff probably um they also have this size so it's a little bit smaller it's like a medium um and then there's this one which i believe is for shoes it also looks like you can like snap these which i don't know why you would snap that but maybe snap them together i'm not sure but this one i believe is for shoes there's no straps on the inside um There's this little zipper bag, which I'm probably gonna stick my hair tools in, like my curler and my straightener. Um, what's this one? This is just a little cube, but it doesn't have the mesh. Maybe this is the one for shoes. Actually, I think this is the shoe one. Um, a little teensy bag, maybe for like, but I don't know, whatever you'd throw in there. And then the reason I picked this set is because I really like that it came with this. Um, it's, it's pretty small, but um, I like this and I feel like this will be really good for the bathroom so I can put the stuff, especially the stuff that me and Morgan share that we'll just wanna keep in the bathroom, like our like face wash and stuff. Um, we can stick our toothbrushes up here, toothpaste, that will be helpful. It also has a handle on top and a thing in the back. So this is from Amazon. I want to say it was like $27 or 20 ish, um, 20 to 30. And it's really cute. So I got that to help pack. Um, and yeah, I really do like, I like this shirt from this angle. I just am like, I need to put on these shorts with something else I think, but 
I'm kind of tired, so I'm gonna change into some relaxing wear. Let me show you my manicure. I just did, these are my real nails. Um, they're so short because I just took off the long ones, so they were kind of brittle, so I cut them. Um, but I just did like a gel manicure this time and because I didn't want my nails to break while we were doing, like we're doing ATV riding and like whitewater rafting and maybe horseback riding, so I didn't wanna have to just worry about my nails the whole time. So I kind of like it. It's like a fun, I kind of like the look, honestly. It's cute. So I did that this time and I think I'm going to self tan later tonight. So I'll keep you guys updated. My skin, I feel like looks just terrible. I mean, not terrible, but I'm like breaking out in weird spots and I don't know why. Nobody knows, but I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay. So here's the shirt in the medium. What do we think? <laughs> Y'all are going to have to tell me. I like it. I don't think it's flattering. I feel pretty puffy. I kind of feel like frump, like there's just a lot going on in this midsection. I don't really know how to address that. Um, I don't know, but like from back here, it looks okay. I don't know. I'm on the fence because I feel like I don't love it. So am I going to look at my closet and be like, mm, not my favorite and then never wear it? probably. So I think unfortunately this might be a return, but let me know if y'all think I'm crazy. But yeah, I just, I mean, be honest. This is not the best look. This is not the best work look I've ever done. So I think it's going to have to go back. Y'all it's Thursday morning. It's vacay day. I couldn't be more pumped. So we got up around six 30, the usual Morgan went to work. He's going to work today until about two. Um, I took the day off because well, I was already planning to take the day off because I just didn't want to work. Like, why would I want to work on the day we're leaving? So I didn't, um, but it kind of worked out good because we did not, in fact, pack last night. Nothing is packed. Nothing is packed. <laughs> we don't have to leave the house until 4 or like 3.30 probably. We're trying to get to my dad's house around 4 so he can drive us to the airport. Um, and we don't leave until like 6.45. Like the plane doesn't depart until 6.45, but um, we want to eat dinner there because I want I want to do that. I don't know, that's probably weird, but I just want to do that. I feel like it'll be easier. And we're gonna have to stop in Houston. We're not getting there till midnight. Like I don't wanna eat hours before we get to the airport because then we're gonna be hungry and have to eat again. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. Um, I did get my nails done. I think I showed y'all yesterday, but they're just like pretty pale pink. I really just want to grow my nails out, I think, and start getting this gel polish. It's cheaper. And I like the look of it. Like, I just think this looks nice. I do miss the tips, but for now, this is what we're working with. Um, but anyways, it's about 8, so it's 8.20 right now. I'm going to probably get in the bath shower around 9. Around 9 so that I can wash my hair, exfoliate, shave, and then I'm gonna self tan. So I need to take a shower and then I'll probably wait an hour after I get out of the shower and then put the tanner on. I just feel like it works better that way. Um, then when I'm like right out of the shower, skin kind of, you know, still like hot from the hot shower. So I'll give it like an hour, self tan around like 10.30 and then I'm gonna let it sit pretty much until Morgan gets off work. I'm going to do the instant one, I think by Bondi Sands or Bondi Sands or whatever. Um, and it says for a dark color, you can let it develop for four hours. So Morgan's going to leave around two. I'll probably hop and hop in the shower and rinse it right as he leaves work. Cause then he'll get home and shower. Um, and I also want to show you some new shower products that I've been using. I have like scour TikTok for drugstore dupes, inexpensive dupes, everything dupes, Amazon dupes. Like I cannot be bothered to pay designer prices, high-end prices, luxury prices. Like I will not, I won't do it. I just think it's stupid. I like so many, especially since TikTok has come out, so many people have come out like working in random industries. I saw one yesterday about the shampoo industry and they were like, I worked at a shampoo and conditioner factory every I mean, not every company ever, but like we would make shampoo for like 20 companies. They would all go in different bottles and then they would just add a different scent. So it's the same formula with a different scent for like several, I mean, a lot of shampoos. So I'm just like, it just 
furthers the point of like the generic version is probably the same anyways. So like, why not just use the cheaper version? You know what I mean? So anyways, I was on TikTok looking for best drugstore shampoo and conditioner because that's something I definitely won't spend money on. Like refuse to buy expensive shampoo. You have to repurchase it all the time. Like I just, I don't want to. So I was looking and a lot of hair, um, like cosmetologists, we're saying the Heritage brand from, like you can get it at Walmart. And it's so cute, the packaging is cute, it smells expensive. Like it's amazing, I'm obsessed. So I bought the shampoo, the conditioner, and the hair mask, which I'm gonna do the hair mask today um, and try it for the first time. But I love the shampoo and conditioner, it smells amazing, love the way it left my hair, like I'm obsessed. And it's, I'm gonna say like $8.50 a bottle. It's amazing, like literally under $10, I'm obsessed. So I'll show that to you. Um, and then we're going to get packing. I have need to get the suitcase out of the car. Me and Morgan are sharing one suitcase and I'm packing for us both. So it's obviously he'll like double check it and make sure we have everything we need. Like he has everything he needs, but I've been kind of piling stuff. I know what outfits we need for the most part. So I'm thinking packing will take me like an hour. I have one more load of um, laundry in the washing machine right now with just some stuff that he wore this week that he wants to take. And also I have my sheets in the dryer. They already dry, but I'm giving them a fluff because I wanna put fresh sheets on the bed today so that when we get home, we have fresh sheets. That's the best feeling. When you get home from vacation and your house is clean and you have fresh sheets, like you can't beat that. So shower, self tan, pack. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I need to unload the dishwasher, like wipe stuff down, take the trash out. That's pretty much it. Um, and then we're going to the airport. I'm so pumped. Okay, y'all, I just got out of the shower, but this is the brand. So it's Heritage by Mindy McKnight. Gentle daily shampoo. Look at all the stuff that it's free of. It's also cruelty-free and vegan. Um, and I also got the deep moisture conditioner. So unfortunately, this lid top, oh, there's one of my hairs, LOL. This lid top is broken. Um, so I think I'm just gonna buy another bottle of the conditioner and switch the top so I can finish this bottle, switch them back whenever I'm done. Um, and then the hair mask, which also has my hair on it, shocker. Um, protein treatment. This is what I use today instead of the conditioner. Felt so nice and thick. And then I used my brightening facial scrub. I also exfoliated with one of my exfoliating mitts. I can show you that, they're from Amazon, they're really cheap. Um, this is my face because I'm about to tan my face also. Okay, and then these are the mitts. I'll just link them for you. I like, obviously I have no idea what these are called, but I'll link them for you. It came in this pack and then also a pack with green. Um, they're very rough, but like they're not too rough, you know, and it's just a good exfoliating mitt. So I use this before I self tan and they're like literally five. Y'all just having, well, it's like kind of lunch, but it's only 1030. I'm trying this for the first time. It smells so good. I mean, I can't imagine that it will be bad. 290 calories for the whole bag. And then I also heated up some of the Tyson Buffalo chicken tenders, um, letting those cool. I think I'm just going to eat them on the side, but that is breakfast. I guess it would be brunch. Okay, y'all, I was about to do my tan. I remembered I wanted to get it before. So this is the legs before. You can see like my neck and chest color, very, very pale. I'm about to go do my self tan. Okay, I'm using the Bondi Sands. Also ignore my vanity. I know it's a mess. We're, you know, I'm trying to pack. Okay, Bondi Sands, or is it Bondi? I don't know. Australian tan, and I'm using the one hour express, but I'm gonna leave it on for three hours because it says um, you can do that. So like one hour is dark, two to three is darkest. Um, I mean, if it looks too dark after an hour or two, I'll just rinse it. Um, but yeah, then you get in and rinse with warm water, get out and pat dry. And I also got the mitt. These are both from Amazon. I wanna say this is around the $25 mark and the mitt is like under $10, I believe. So I'll link this for you down below. Okay, y'all, I just put it on and this goes on so much darker from the beginning than the Coco and Eve. I would assume because it's a one hour express tan, but I'm obsessed. I already, like, I feel like on camera it doesn't even look as dark as it looks in person. I'm obsessed. It looks so good. A little, I don't know if you can tell that much on the chest. Um, but yeah, the legs, oh my gosh. I wonder if I need to do more in the front. I don't know. 
don't want to mess it up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it for like an hour or two. Honestly, I might not do the full um, because it's already so much darker than the, like it goes on really dark. You can see it as you put it on, which I actually really like. Um, so yeah, we'll see how many hours I leave it on and I'll show you like the full after once I'm like putting clothes on or whatever. Okay. I don't know if you can tell better from this angle. I just took a picture for my friend. Like it's dark. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so this is where I'm at. This is, well, the robe and then, um, which I think I am going to bring the robe just so I can like walk back and from the bathroom, you know? Um, so I am bringing the robe, but these are swimsuits that I decided against. So that's like kind of the no pile. Um, this is, I'm bringing one two-piece swimsuit. Tried this on this morning. Actually so cute. And will I, can I just say, I didn't hate the way I looked in the two-piece. Blessed. Um, and then this is a one piece that I'm probably going to wear when we go rafting or whatever, cause we're going to have like life jackets on. I'll just put some shorts on over that. And then this is my two dresses. So this is the dress for the wedding. And then this is just a casual dinner dress. And I kind of folded them nice in there and I'm bringing a steamer. So that's why I'm not that worried about folding everything. So that's there in here. I have a pair of jeans at the bottom because I think we might have to have jeans for horseback riding. We're not sure. So a pair of jeans two pairs of denim shorts, one pair of white denim shorts, and then I have all of these tops. So one, two, three, four. There's actually two like t-shirt style tops for like casual, um, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm bringing eight tops because you just never know. Ideally, I'll wear these two because that's like what I bought for the trip, but I have some of my like go-to backups just in case and some casual if I just need to throw on a t-shirt, like a V-neck style shirt. I packed some of those too, but like, that's a lot. I mean, four bottoms and like eight tops in this tiny little awesome. Okay. This is underwear. I'm bringing my little crossbody bag. This is like a Lulu, um, dupe from Amazon. I'll link it for you below. It's like, I don't know, under $20 and it has two, um, pockets also bringing this tiny bag. I've had it forever. Probably couldn't link it for you. I think I got it from my mom literally circa like 2010. So um, bringing that just as like my little purse to bring to dinner or whatever while we're there. This is what I'm going to put everything in for the airport. I'm also going to bring my backpack. Um, over here, I've got two t-shirts and then three. So two t-shirts, one um, pair of pants because I don't know like PJ pants. I don't know how cold it's going to be in the Airbnb. And then I have three PJs, which I feel like I could maybe just do two sets of PJs since I have these. I don't know, but this is what I have so far. Three shorts, PJ sets, and then a couple t-shirts and some pants. Um, sports bras. And then also my, all of my Lulu shorts are like Lulu dupes with coordinating tank tops. So with the gray, I have the pink and the green top that could go with them. The purple, I have the black tops. And then I also have um, a pair of green down here that will go with black as well. My little twisty turvy thing that goes on my hair, a clip, some house shoes to wear on the Airbnb. I probably either don't need to bring both sandals or I don't need to bring these because I could wear those around the house too. I don't know. Definitely have to bring these. These are from TJ Maxx for the wedding but I kind of want to bring all of those. So we'll see. And then this is the suitcase um, that we're bringing. So I think I'm going to put my stuff in that side and then zip it up. And then Morgan will have this whole side for his stuff. And I think that's going to work. I also need to put like my hair tools probably in this thing um, and probably his like dress shoes and boots. I think he's bringing boots. So we have to have room okay, for all. We've reached an SOS moment. I, so I waited three and a half hours, rinsed the tan, didn't scrub, didn't use anything else on my skin, just water for like three minutes. Got out, pat dry, the tan is gone, like 100% gone. Reread the directions, I did everything right. It says that you put it on your skin and then you rinse it. It says after one hour for a long lasting dark tan, my tan is completely gone. Like I'm white as a ghost. White as, like, you can't even tell I put anything on my skin. Nothing. I feel like this lighting. Look, can y'all tell how white I am? Like, is this a joke? So I don't know about this. I don't, I'm like so confused why everyone raves about that. Cause that does not work. I'm going to put on my Coco and Eve. I guess I'm going to wear it to the airport and then just rinse it. 
when we get to the hotel because I don't know what else to do. I don't want to be this white. I don't want to put it on right before getting in the hotel sheets, you know? I got to feel bad about that. So I guess I'm going to put it on right now. I'm like so annoyed right now. Okay, that was the last clip I got before Morgan got home. I did end up re-tanning with my Coco and Eve and it looked so pretty. I was super happy with it. And here's just a little montage of our vacation in Gatlinburg.